like to use it because it feels it feels great mm -hmm. and it is it does, solid. It does. You know, it is very solid, and we we because this is ultimately the area where which you touch the most. So you know, this we found out this is absolutely the um, the the best finish we could use for that. And it has the most unique radius of any guitar I've ever been told had. I, when I played it, I thought, is this a 10 inch or is this a 12 inch radius? But it's tall. You you were you were <laughs> right because it's right in the middle. Um, <laughs> it's it's actually an 11 uh, inch. Uh, we we came we came to that almost by accident because uh, uh, my friend was building and is building a lot of bases too, and uh, he uses a lot of the 11 inch. And I was looking for something that felt traditional but got rid of all the troubles you had with the with the, the, the vintage radius, especially once you get over the 12th fret. Mm -hmm. And um, I found that with this 11 inch, it, it still feels good, you know, under the fingers, but you can, you can simply have a lower action, and this is where we wanted to go. And maybe you're onto something. Maybe 11 is the magic number. I mean, sometimes I think that 12 feels too flat, and 10, I mean, I, I swear to God, nine and a half is what some of the other guitars uh, yeah. come. Nine and a half feels not quite flat enough. Uh, maybe, yeah, 11 inch. I've never heard anybody else. Have you ever heard of anybody else using that number? I never have. No, no. Yeah. You know, it's some of the, the when when you come out with a, with, a, with a new brand of guitars, which, you know, we did two years ago, uh, you gotta, you gotta uh, uh, work on something uh, different. Not just to be different, but to try and, uh, and make it feel and sound better. And uh, that's what we're into, you know. We're not just, we're not just taking a classic design and, and tell people it's better. We really have the uh, uh, the we, we took it a step further. I would say. Is there anything else about the guitar that you'd like to mention that makes set, sets it apart from other? Well, guitars? very simple. All the um, to to um, to get the whole uh, information about parts uh, um, in terms of frets, we use sixty one oh five frets. All the parts are made for us by Goto, as mm -hmm. you, uh, uh, the bridges are custom made for us. We use oiled co-bone uh, uh, nuts, mm -hmm. which is um, exceptional in terms of uh, sound, uh, tonal transmission. Um, we use CTS parts. We use um, uh, switchcraft jacks and CRL switches. So we try to use the best that is available. And the most important thing is that every step of the, uh, of the, of the construction is handmade by luthiers, meaning that we, there is no CNC process, and this is actually the the fundamental behind this brand. Meaning that we're a bunch of luthiers working together. I mean, I am ultimately the one with the crazy ideas, and uh, mm -hmm. but uh, we have people. We have one guys. We have one of the guys is really a master, a world champion in terms of a fret job. Mm -hmm. So he handles that, and so. Basically, we're a team of people, and you know, everyone works at what he does the best. What pickups can are available for future models? Can you can you custom order the pickups, or or what yeah. are you going to be using in the future? Yeah, well, uh, there's many ideas around, and uh, as people often tell me, I have too many ideas, so I gotta keep control on myself. But mm -hmm. uh, we are pretty much into the idea of uh, of having a a um, neck pickup in in a. Uh, um, TV Jones uh, uh, style, a Gretsch, a Gretsch, Gretsch style. style. Yeah. I am working on a specific uh, a pickup, which is a real single coil, uh, uh, a real single coil, pardon me, with the uh, Onico uh, uh, rod magnets. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, it would be a fatter uh, a single coil. So this is something that will come out. Uh, on these the would be magneto pickups. You're talking. This would be magneto okay. pickups. Mm -hmm. Are these the the pickups that are on here right now? Are those magneto pickups? Those uh, those here are Jason Lolar pickups. Oh, this Jason is the pickups. this is okay. the um, the option that we do offer uh, as okay. well because we we pretty much like what he does. We think he's mm -hmm. he's really nailed it. You know, and uh, but we also work on our own uh, our pickups. And some people prefer the ones, and some people prefer the other because pickups is always a matter of uh, of taste. It really is. Uh, yes, yeah, personal taste. But uh, we we work on new configuration. We work on uh, new models, uh, of course. And um, I mean, there's um, there's a lot of information on our on our uh, website. Which, what is your website? Uh, it's called magnetoguitars.com, um, very com. simple. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of uh, video, there's a lot of uh, tech talk and... Uh, and what is the name of this model? 
This the, model itself. This specific model is called a T-Wave. T-Wave, and yeah. you have other, uh, how many other models do you have? Well, at this point we have six models, um, but uh, we do um, two or three uh, different variations of the T-Wave. We use, we do one uh, with the St. Ash body, mm -hmm. where we use a, um, an oil wax colored finish. Um, we do a new one called the T-Wave Atlantic, where we basically use Charlie Christian type of pickups, you know, for a more... Are those made by Jason Lawler too? Uh, one of them, one it. of them is made by Jason Lawler, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, the other, the, the, the second one is made uh, for us by a guy uh, uh, in Finland called Vaishal Rotia. And um, excellent, excellent work. And, uh, but this gives us the ability to, 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 to go somewhere new, you know, mm -hmm. where, where, where we really want to do guitars with, on one hand have the quality, but also offer a, a new type of tones. Now are they all bolt-on guitars, all your other models? Yes. This particular one, so is it a four bolt neck? Maybe you should show the, the viewers. Yep, yeah, just a standard a four, four bolt neck. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Strings through the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And the uh, okay. other thing I shall mention is that we put, you know, one of our biggest concern into doing bolt-on guitars is to try to have this area really massive. Um, we worked in the beginning at making, uh, you know, the 22nd fret really accessible. Well, mm -hmm. it is, as you can see, mm -hmm. but we decided to keep a lot of the wood here going and uh, um, a lot of the woods here to keep it massive because this is a uh, uh, you know this is an important transmission point for right. for a bow down guitar. Yes. So this adds a lot in the mid mid range uh, frequency too, in our opinion. And I can see that it's um, beveled a little bit there, so your hand yeah. uh, easier for your hand to yeah, get through. you can, higher you frets. can. But you know, as I said, it's a it's a retro modern instrument. It's 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 definitely uh, it's it, you. C it's made to play rock, but it's definitely not the uh, the, the heavy rock kind of uh, guitar. You know, it's a classic. Uh, and I can see it's got guitar. a very tight tight neck pocket on there as well. Yeah, this is, is important. Although we do everything by hand, but uh, using pin routers, but um, this is a, a very important aspect. Okay, Christian. Well, I've really enjoyed it. It said uh, the, the guitar, as I mentioned, was it was fantastic to play. Plays tremendous. The action is is great, and the and the feel of the guitar is great, and it's sprayed with nitro. Uh, these this guitar is available at customguitarboutique.com. Correct. Absolutely. Uh, you can contact a friend, Kelsey Alonso, who's taking care of the uh, distribution uh, for it in the U.S. And um, yeah, he knows he knows pretty much everything about it. Sounds good, Christian. Thank you so much. And this is Jim Pulsiver signing off from NAMM Show 2011. Thank you very much, Jim. Yeah.